for any SKU in your catalog, be it a modular piece of furniture, an OBJ file, or even a simple finish. All of them are assigned a certain pricing system against them. When you check out the pricing properties of any SKU, you can see as you scroll down that there is a column called existing sales channel entries. You can see that this particular SKU has been assigned a sales channel and within that sales channel, a price field in which all the pricing related properties of that SKU, such as the cost, the unit basis, the tax, margin and total selling price, etc. All of these settings are included within that price field. To understand better what a sales channel and what a price type is, let us take a look at the flow chart showing the hierarchy. Every organization in Infernia will have at least one, if not more sales channel, and each sales channel will have at least one price type. You can assign one or more price types to each sales channel, each price type bearing a different kind of price setting for this one single SKU. The most common use case is that the most common use case for this is when an organization is showcasing the same product in different cities, in which case the sales channels will most likely take on the name of each city, which will serve as channels and then will further be assigned different price types. So for instance, a product sold in city one can have one or more types of price settings and these price types can be set by the user at any time. Similarly, the same product which will be sold in city 2 as well can be assigned either one of these price settings or both of them. In a nutshell, the price type is what determines all the price settings of a particular SKU and is the lowest subset of the pricing hierarchy. Let us go to the pricing settings of this particular SKU once again. Here you can see a default sales channel along with its price field has already been set. However, there are other sales channels that have already been added to this organization. If we were to close this window and go to sales channels here, you can see that apart from default sales channel, a sales channel called Bangalore has also been added. You can see that in default sales channel, only the default price field has been assigned. However, in the Bangalore sales channel, two price fields have been assigned. Therefore, going back to any SKU at this point, and going to the pricing section of the same, you can see that you have an option to add from the existing sales channels in your organization. When I select Bangalore, I can now see that both the default as well as the custom price fields have been added. Whereas for default sales channel, only one price field had been assigned to it. Therefore, you will only be getting one price field to edit here. Herein, you will have the option of editing the pricing settings for all of these price fields. Simply set the pricing mode to custom and now you can make whatever changes you like to the same. You can see that the default price field, despite having the same name in both the default sales channel 
and in the Bangalore sales channel have been assigned different types of prices simply because they have been assigned to different sales channels. Therefore, in total, this one particular SKU has three different types of prices set to it. Sales channels and price fields are a very useful way of organizing the different pricing systems for the same SKUs or models that you have in your catalogue.